What's up guys, Nerd Up Desk here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your old iOS device useful again with the White Door firmware. So you might be like the many other people out there stuck on an older iOS device, specifically a iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, or an iPod Touch first or second generation. You might be running into uh, problems with its speed, it being very slow. And not only that, you might be uh, lacking app support and a lot of the features that are on the newer versions of iOS. There's a firmware out there that's compatible with all those devices I just stated that's gonna make it a lot faster. Now this is a modified version of uh, the, an official Apple firmware that's going to throw in a ton of features. It's going to give you full iOS 7 like experience on an earlier gen device that obviously won't have iOS 7. It's going to give you improved push notifications just like the iOS 7. White Door also supports multiple stores and that's going to give you Cydia, the normal app store, and it's also going to give you an app store that's going to have the latest version of an app that supports your device. So let's f say for example you want to download Twitter and you use the official app store, it's going to tell you, well, you need to update to a version of iOS that you can't get on your device. You can use the app time machine feature to uh, get the latest version that supported your firmware. You're not going to be left out and you're going to be able to have all the app support that you need. Don't forget though that it's not going to give you support for apps that came out after that firmware. For example, uh, maybe Temple Run or something like that that never supported the firmware in the first place, those are never going to work. On the iPhone side of things, it's going to give you full unlock support, and not only that, it's going to give you advanced camera features. On the iPhone 2G, it's going to give you full video support, and it's going to give you that extended camera support that you might be looking for. It's going to give you out-of-the-box MMS if yours didn't support it. So the camera might look like crap, but you're going to get that support. This version of iOS supports native multitasking so you're going to be able to run apps in the background unlike you could before and you're going to do it with significant amount of speed it also comes default with control center that's going to give you quick access to toggles such as wi-fi and many other things to make your life easier and make it a newer experience than what you may be used to on an older device last but certainly not least is the voice control options it's going to give you a basic uh, not full siri like but it is going to give you some voice commands that you can do uh, and that's going to, like I said, make this device a lot more usable and bring it up to speed with more modern devices. You can also speed up your device by going into settings and turning off any features that you may not be using. So every feature that you turn off, it's going to make the device go a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Keep on what you need to use and at the end of the day, you're going to have a surprisingly fast device. Installation wise for the iPod Touch, it supports all the versions, even the MC model of the second gen and the first generation iPod Touch. You simply just install the IPSW. For iPhones, it can be a little bit trickier. If you want to uh, unlock, you will have to do some baseband things and other things like that. But it should be pretty easy. All the documentation on the Wood Door website will be included in the links below. And that's going to help you install all the versions. And it's super easy. And the, the tutorials are written very well. So that's about it for White Door, guys. Um, if you like it, go ahead and install it to your device. I recommend that you do it. You don't really have anything to lose. And if you liked the video or if this helped out in any way, please give it a thumbs up. That really means a lot. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like our other videos. Here's a couple videos you might want to check out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.